today's video is going to be all about Phoenix Run and I was privileged enough to get to meet the creators of Phoenix Run at Long Beach Comic Expo back in February. Phoenix Run is produced by Jaywalk Entertainment. The creator of the story is TJ Walker. The writer is Will Strode and the artist is Ari Ziara. The premise of Phoenix Run is set in the future. In the future, humans learn how to make themselves superhuman. They made super serums with nanotechnology. Rich and powerful people who were able to afford these nanotechnologies bought the serums. This birthed the year of superheroes. So at the end of this period in time, crime was down and there was like a whole new era of superheroes in America. And this was pretty awesome. It was called the Golden Age until the Z strain nano bug kind of arrived. So all the superheroes became ill and infected the whole entire world with this contagious nano bug that they got from the super serum. It's been decades since the Z pandemic has ravaged the entire world, turned the population into like blood crazy zombies essentially. The people that survived have to take a vaccine every month to kind of stay normal or else the virus will rage out and they'll basically just turn into crazy zombie people. The story is basically about this smuggler who thinks he's stealing a version of the vaccine. He actually finds himself in a possession of an experimental serum that could actually eliminate the virus. And so he's currently hiding out in Canada which is kind of like ground zero for the Z virus. It is like total devastation there. And he is trying to survive long enough to get this virus into someone's hands and stay away from the people that are trying to hunt him down. And this comic is really interesting because it kind of answers that question of what would happen if we were granted powers? What would the fallout be if that somehow went wrong? It's just that philosophy of man taking it one step too far, which is always so intriguing to me. And it's just really interesting to see how people act in the face of just basically assured destruction and everyone becomes a little more ruthless, a little more out for themselves. How humanity reacts to the consequences of their actions. The other thing that I like about Phoenix Run is that it is very, very innovative. Probably the most innovative comic series that I've seen this year for sure. And it's really cool because on page eight of the comic, they have a little QR code and then you can scan that code and it takes you to the web series where it kind of finishes a part of the story. You're not just reading pages. It forces the reader to get involved also in the story, which kind of gets you more emotionally invested because you actually participated in the story. And I really dig that. And that was kind of like one of the big things that was going on at Long Beach Comic Expo, which was the melding of all of these different multimedia techniques to make something different, make something cool, make something really innovative. It's just really nice when you see something that's kind of really cool and different in the comic book world. And they also have an app that keeps you updated on the comic and the web series and everything that is going on. I will put a link to that as well in the description box. I really think that Phoenix Run is a really good story. The art in Phoenix Run I like. It's very gritty. It reminds me it's very noir style. It's very dark and I like that for this world. Here is a little interactive piece here and so you kind of just QR scan that and it takes you to the web series so that is very very cool you can check out phoenix run on google play or the iphone app store you can also go to phoenixrunseries.com get updated on when the new episodes of phoenix run and the web series are gonna come out i really enjoyed this title and i definitely will be keeping up with it in the future thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one so today's video is going to be all about Phoenix Run. <laughs> ah, all right. Here is the little interactive symbol here. Yeah, here's the little this one. Here's the and letterer micro 
Uh, and, and letter Michael Myers. Huh? Or no. 